Good morning, everybody, and good morning, Lighthouse Kids. We're going to get straight in with a game this morning. We're going to be playing Simon Says, but this Simon is Simon, also known as Peter, one of the disciples. Now, he was a fisherman, so Simon's actions are going to be related to all sorts of things that a fisherman would have done. OK, so let's do a little run through so you know what to do when he says certain things and then we'll start playing the game. So Simon would say, push the boat out because you have to push his boat out into the sea in the morning to get ready for a day's fishing. Simon would say, cast your nets, throw your nets overboard, get ready to catch those fish. Simon would also have to wait for the fish. Mm, wait for those fish. Pull in the nets, Simon would say. Bring in those nets full of fish at the end of the day. Simon would say, sort your fish. Throw the small ones back in. Keep the bigger ones for going to the market. And Simon at the end of the day would say, pull your boat in. So give your boat a big heave back out of the sea. OK, so when Simon says the action, you do it. And if Simon doesn't say it, you don't do it. OK, because otherwise you will get thrown overboard mm -hmm. and you're out. OK, so Simon says, push the boat out. Simon says, wait for the fish. Simon says, haul in your net. Simon says, pull your boat in. Simon says, sort your fish. Simon says, push the boat out. Cast your net. Oh, did I catch anyone out? OK, bit faster this time. Simon says, cast your nets. Simon says, haul in your nets. Simon says, cast your nets. Simon says, wait for your fish. Simon says, sort your fish. Simon says, pull your boat in. Simon says, push your boat out. Simon says, wait for your fish. Haul that net in, quick. Oh, I think I caught some of you out there. OK, last round. Keep listening. It's going to get really quick. OK, Simon says, push the boat out. Simon says, pull your boat in. Simon says, cast your nets. Simon says, wait for your fish. Simon says, pull your boat in. Simon says, push your boat out. Simon says, haul in your nets. Simon says, wait for your fish. Simon says, cast your net. Simon says, haul in your net. Simon says, cast your net. Simon says, haul in your net. Cast your net. Oh, I think I caught a lot more of you out that time. Great game, everybody. Well done. So we are going to listen to a story about how the disciples were on the boat with Jesus and the weather got a bit stormy. And for today's story, we are going to be watching a Saddleback Kids video. So quite often in um, Lighthouse Kids, we'll tell our children the story and then we'll watch a video as a bit of a refresh. And Saddleback Kids is a fantastic way to do this. So we're going to watch a video by them this morning. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water oh, hey guys. and even raised people from the dead. One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, Jesus, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, 
Silence. Be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Wow, what a great story. Imagine being those disciples on that boat with Jesus when he calmed the storm. Amazing. So our memory verse today reminds us that if ever we feel scared or afraid like those disciples did on the boat, we don't need to be because Jesus is always with us. So our memory verse with our actions this morning is when I am afraid, I will trust in you. And that's from Psalm 56, verse 3. Okay, Lighthouse Kids and Lighthouse Church, let's do this all together. Okay, here we go. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. Oh, should we see if we can do a little bit quicker? Yeah, I reckon a little bit quicker. Okay, ready? When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. Okay, let's go one more time, even quicker. One more? Yeah. All right then. Okay, ready? When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. Oh, good job, everybody. Now, one of the things we find fun to do in Lighthouse Kids is when we do a memory verse, we see who can do it best out of the boys or the girls. So who do you think this morning, shout out, is going to be best out of the boys and the girls? The girls! Boys. Yeah! Boys. Okay, so boys are going to go first. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. Oh, nice. Okay, girls, are you ready? Let's do it even better than the boys. Are you ready? Here we go. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. Good job, everybody. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's try and remember that verse if ever we feel scared or afraid. So now we're going to do a craft. So watch this video and we'll show you how to do it. Oh look, here's Henry come to help us with our craft today. He's got his sailor's outfit on all ready because today's story was the disciples are in the boat, weren't they? Okay, Henry, what do we need? We need some paper, a glue stick, some pens and some scissors. So start by drawing some waves on your piece of paper. Great job Henry, there's lots of blue waves on there. It definitely looks like the sea and you could even add some fish or some sea animals. Then draw a boat and some more bigger waves because these are going to be the waves in our stormy sea. Take your scissors and cut those things out and then you want to fold a little bit of the edge of those things you've cut out so that you can put some glue on there to stick them down. So then take your glue stick and stick them onto your page. Great job, Henry. Let's have a look and see how that works. So we can use our craft to tell the story that we've heard today. So this is when the, the sea was calm and the disciples and Jesus had just gone out in the boat. And then when it's time for the storm, you can pop your waves back up and you can do as many waves as you like. And the storm, the sea gets stormier and stormier and your boat's going up and down and the disciples are terrified. And then when Jesus calms the storm and says, be still, Your craft to tell the story that you've heard today. Great job, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed this little slice of kids' church this morning.